Hey guys! Today I just wanted to make a quick video that's talking about the importance of encouragement and praise with young children. I feel like this is something that can be really easily overlooked, especially with our busy, busy lives, but it is absolutely an essential part of child development. The reason that encouragement is so important to your child's learning is because your child's learning is based on relationships. Children learn through well-developed relationships and through people that they trust. Sometimes this is parents, sometimes this is teachers, sometimes this is friends. We learn from all of those people and it's all based on the relationships that we've developed that tell us this is someone that I trust, this is someone who is going to help me in life, this is someone who appreciates me and so I appreciate them and what they have to offer. So those relationships that we make throughout our life determine the people that we learn the most from. So as parents, as teachers, as therapists, if we want children to be learning from us, we have to focus on the quality of our relationship. And quality, trusting relationships come from positivity and encouragement. Children are incredibly motivated by praise and those positive relationships are built on the encouragement that we give our children. Encouragement is an important way to strengthen relationships. So it's really important, I can't stress it enough, to find opportunities where your child is being successful, where you can give them praise and encourage the things that you think they are doing really well. So this could be something like saying, Eric, I love how patiently you're waiting with me. Thank you so much for waiting so patiently. This could also be something like, Jacob, you are doing such a great job reading your book right now. I love how gently you're flipping the pages. <laughs> Finding those opportunities for praise is incredibly, incredibly important. Even if your child is going through a rough time and you feel like there aren't as many opportunities. Maybe your child is not waiting patiently and they're not flipping the pages of their books gently. That's okay. They are doing a lot of other things really well. And it's important that you as the parent, as the teacher, as the therapist, find those things that they are doing well. Maybe it's, Kara, you did such a good job getting your shoes off independently. Or maybe it's, Rosie, I love how you ate all of your dinner and sat with us at the table. Um, whatever it is that they are doing, I'm sure you can find something in what they're doing that they did well or that they did positive in the way that you want it to be. And those are the things that you should be encouraging. You can also create opportunities to give your children praise and encouragement and those opportunities will also help to develop your relationship with your child and that positive, encouraging relationship that you want for learning. Some of the things that I like to do to structure learning opportunities for encouragement are start-stop games and direction games. So in music, start-stop games are things like freeze dance um, or playing instruments to a start-stop song um, and then giving those, oh my gosh, you're doing such a good job playing or, oh, thank you for stopping. You have such good listening ears right now. I also like direction-oriented games for providing opportunities for encouragement. So these are things like my dancing songs where I'm saying, kick your feet, clap your hands, jump. And when they do those things, you can praise them so much for participating and engaging with you. You can also praise them for doing their own thing. If you're having a dance party and they come up with some crazy new move, you can say, oh my gosh, I love your creativity. I love that you're dancing with me. Whatever the opportunity is, it's important to find that opportunity for encouragement. Praise and encouragement build the foundation for a strong positive relationship and strong positive relationships build the foundation for learning and this can be any kind of learning in early childhood and down the line. I'm even talking about those things down the line when your child is older, when your child is a teenager or an adult and you want them to entrust you with certain situations or certain conversations, you have to already have built up that encouraging relationship so that they know that what they're going to get from you is love and encouragement and 
positive learning experiences. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning my take on why encouragement is an important facet to building relationships and helping your child learn. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'd love to start a dialogue with you. But other than that, thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye! Thank you.